My name is Caleb Wolf, and I'm the Regional Sales Director for the Northwest and the Western half of Canada. I've been an RSD for going on two years and involved with the Docular product for four years now. And I'm excited to take you through a quick demonstration of Process Planner and Workflow Designer. Here's a brief outline of what we're going to be going over today. I'm going to spend a couple minutes talking about setting a new pace for our organization. And then I'm going to go straight into a live demonstration of Docuware workflow automation, as well as the process planner. And then at the end, we'll open it up for some questions and answers that you guys can type into the question box. So Docuware fundamentally shifts your business into a new pace of productivity and execution. You can move from disorganized, scattered information to one where documents and data are available at the points of decision. Automate redundant, tedious tasks for your team to accomplish more and focus on projects that matter. Security across the board is improved. Compliance mandates like HIPAA and GDPR are addressed with ease. And finally, enough with the heavy, complex software. Use technology on your device of choice with an experience built to get stuff done. So for just a moment, I want to walk you through what you see on your screen. We begin with a free tool provided by DocuWare called Process Planner. It simply allows you to collaborate as a team and put a process together visually so you can see how documents flow throughout your organization. Next, we step to DocuWare's Workflow Designer, where we can take the steps outlined in the Process Planner and put tasks to each of these steps in the process. And lastly, we publish the workflow and we start using our new digital process to increase our efficiencies and automate our manual processes. So let's start with Process Planner, which provides a quick and easy tool. This is for companies to put the visual representation to their paper-based process. I'm first going to navigate to processplanner.docuware.com. So the first thing you'll do is create your own account, which only requires an email address and a password. We will confirm your email address, and then you're set to go. I'm going to log into my account. And we're going to create a basic accounts payable workflow. I'm going to click, click a new diagram. So first I want to show you a little bit of the basics about the, the layout of the screen. Right here is where we can name our new workflow. So I'm going to call it AP Basic Version 2. And then over here I have some zoom buttons. So zoom in, zoom out, vice versa, zoom out, zoom in. Full screen mode, some view options, so I can choose grid if I want to see a grid on the background. And then I have a place where I can choose people who I want to collaborate with. And towards the end, I'm going to actually utilize this feature, and we're going to see collaboration live. Then over here on the left side, I've got a new note to add a new note to the, to the process planner, new section, or a new step. And you can immediately begin to build out the process and configure as you go. If you happen to know the various roles or departments that we'll be interacting with, um, with the specific process, then you can just start by adding sections to the workflow. So let's start building out this basic accounting workflow. You'll see if I put my mouse over the start button, I can simply click the area to add a new step. I double click to give this step a name, and we're going to call this invoice received. Then we're going to click the next arrow to add another step. And let's call this step store in DocuWare. And then here I could give a little description by clicking the plus key. I could give, oh, I hit the delete key. Let's try that again. Hit the little plus key and we can give some details or a description around. So I could say email, store automatically, and then I could say paper, scan. And then I've got a little description there. So next we're gonna assign this to the accounting department. So we received the invoice, let's go ahead and assign this to accounting. And now I've, I've kind of created, by, by going down and I'm assigning it to someplace else, I now got different people interacting with it. So this would be a good time where I can add my sections. So I'm going to click the section button 
and bring this up for my first section. And then I'm gonna add another section. And you can see over here on the left-hand side that it kind of put new section one, new section two. Let's call this intake. And let's call section two accounting. So once we've assigned it to accounting, what do we want them to do? Let's go ahead and have them assign cost center. Now, once it's been assigned to the cost center, this is where we go out and we get the approvals. So we're gonna go down to another different person who's gonna interact with it. And we're gonna call this manager approval. And therefore, I, whoops, I just created another section. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's bring this up and call this first level approval. And then let's add a condition here. And this is gonna say, is the invoice greater than $5,000? So we're gonna say amount greater than $5,000. I'm going to bring this over. And if it is, we want to get a second level approval. So let's call this CFO approval. And if it's not greater than 5,000 and we've got the approval from the manager, we're going to go ahead and assign this back to accounting so that they can book the transaction. And then we may want to have that export to a CSV. And then we could probably end the process right there. Let's go ahead and drag an arrow over to the end process. And now I have a couple steps in here. So first of all, let's, let's add this last section here. And we're going to call this second level approval. And then I have some decisions that are taking place. So if it gets assigned to the manager, we want, if he wants to reject it, we're gonna create a decision here that he can either approve or reject. And we can give this a name by clicking. It automatically creates the path as soon as I have two outputs of the step. So we're gonna call this reject. And then path one, we'll call approve. And then down here, amount greater than 5,000, yes amount greater than 5,000, no. And then we gotta do the same thing for the CFO. So if the CFO wants to reject it, let's bring it over there, make it a little bit prettier so that the lines aren't crossing. And if the CFO approves it, let's bring this over a little bit. Let's go up and book it. I think you guys get the idea. And we'll give those same names. We're going to say reject and we're going to say approve. Perfect. So we have a basic AP process that's been built out. We built out a lot really quick for demonstration purposes. So now I want to show you how collaboration would work. So I'm going to come here and choose to invite somebody, which is an account that I already have set up. Don't spam me with all your guys' emails. We'll go there. And then I'm saying may edit for write. And then I'm saving. So what you're not going to see is I'm going to go to my other computer and log in. And I will be notified that, hey, I've got a, another process that I can interact with. So I'm going to go ahead and click to open up that workflow. And here you'll see, oh, I kick off too quick, but it shows right here, one user online, and here's my name. So we could have a lot of different users all logged in at the same time. So from my other computer, I'm gonna add a note to this workflow. And as soon as I click the button, you can see that a new note appeared right up here. So maybe I wanna say something about the manager to please provide a reason for rejecting the invoice. And then I'm gonna drag that on my computer to where I want it to appear, maybe down here. And you can see that as I'm doing stuff on my other computer, 
it's automatically moving around on uh, this workflow. So there we have a basic AP process all mapped out with Process Planner. Now let's see what that looks like inside of DocuR. So I'm gonna shift over to my VM. And here I have some different users within a sample uh, business called Peter's Engineering. And we're gonna log in as admin to start so that I can show you the workflow. So here is Workflow Designer. I've already opened up. Here's, here's the overview so you can see some of the different workflows. And I've already opened up the accounts payable. So this full workflow has a few more steps, but you can see that we have an assigned to accounting step right here, accounting. We have an assigned to cost center task, similar to what we created on the process planner. We come down, we have a check to see if the amount's over 5,000. If it is, we assign it to the CFO for approval. And then we come down here, we can book the transaction and we even have the export to CSV. So a lot of the steps that we just did in that process planner, we have built into this um, workflow. So with DocuWare's easy to use interface, it's simple to drag and drop tasks onto the canvas and to begin building workflows. The workflow designer walks you through the needed steps to complete certain tasks. Here's an example of a new task. Dockware makes it easy for me to name the task. We'll just call it approval. So approval. Do I want stamps to be put on the document when I take the action? Do I want to notify the person who's being assigned this task via email? And do I want to customize this email to say certain things? I can add some decisions here. This is where I would add approve, add a reject. I could add a hold, I could have as many decisions as I wanted here. And then I even have escalations. And this is where I could specify, if I've assigned the task to a user, how many days do I want to give them to fulfill their task? Um, and then I have a due date setting right here, that if after the three days and we remind them, do I want to give them another amount of time before the, the process becomes due that I send them another uh, email? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to close out of this and I'm going to log in to my accounting user who is Peggy Jenkins. So the first thing you'll notice is that DocuWare is browser based. Whether you're utilizing a cloud or an on-premise system, you will still launch DocuWare via a browser. On the left, I have my document trays. I have two right here, Intelligent Indexing and my own personal inbox called Basket-Jenkins, based on who I'm logged in as. On the right, I have my viewer. So this is where the images will display when I select them from my tray. So I'll go back to Intelligent Indexing, double click on a different invoice, and I got the image over here on my right. So you see here that she's got a few invoices that are in her intelligent indexing basket. You'll notice that DocuWare's intelligent indexing service has already scanned these invoices and gathers all the necessary information for me. There's one invoice in yellow that may need to may need me to complete the indexing for it. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. We're going to open this and store it. And you'll see that it's missing a couple values, the company, the net amount, the tax. So I am simply going to click and drag right on the document, and it's gonna drop the value into that field. At the same time, I am training DocuWare that when it sees this invoice from this vendor, the next time I want it to pull those values from those areas I just selected, and I'm gonna store the invoice. For the sake of time, we are going to take one of these invoices through the full approval process. So I'm gonna choose the one that's the US Steel because it's over $5,000 and it'll trigger the CFO approval step. So I'm gonna do the same thing, but because it was green, DocuR had automatically identified all the values that I need and I could take a glance just to make sure, like I could click here and I can see on the document where it's pulling that from, just to make sure that everything looks good. So I'll go ahead and store the invoice. And you'll notice that my first task is assigned to accounting. So I'm already logged in as Peggy. So this actually didn't go to another different person. It stayed with accounting to assign the cost center. 
So these tasks will increment as I continue to store invoices. You can see here that my tasks has went up to two. Based on the configuration of Workflow Designer, we could look for purchase orders already stored in the system, perform some auto matching, and we could route the documents differently if we found a PO and the dollar amounts matched per se. On this example, these two are, don't have any POs in the system, so they need to be assigned to the cost center. So she is going to assign this to the appropriate cost center, which is manufacturing. And there's two ways I can do this. I could interact with this field down here, or I could select from my stamps up here in the viewer and choose cost center. I like to do it this way because it lets me put the stamp where I want it to. If I use the, the form at the bottom, it would automatically put the stamp on the document for me. So as soon as I click the stamp, you're gonna notice that this document is going to disappear out of my tasks. So it's still stored in our digital file cabinet, but simultaneously it's being routed through a workflow. So now it's sitting off in somebody else's uh, bin for them to approve. But before I navigate away from here, I wanna show you that Peggy has the ability to monitor the tasks. So you could see that only one task was assigned to her, but this US still, if I scroll over here, she can see that it's assigned to Ford. So if you have a bunch of invoices that are assigned out to multiple people, then you could simply come over and see where each one of those are in the process. So we're gonna navigate over to Brian Ford to look at it from his perspective. Now he's a, he's a department head, he's a manager, he's not living inside DocuWare all the time. So he's gonna rely heavily upon notifications. He wants to be notified when he has a new task to approve or something's been assigned to him. So you can see here that we automatically embed the vendor's name, US Steel. We can embed the total amount. We've got a link right here to the invoice or a link right here to all of his tasks. And if he opens up DocuWire, he'll see that he has the number one here. So there's lots of different ways to notify Brian that, hey, we need you to do something. So he's gonna click on his task, review the invoice, it's a million dollar invoice, and he's going to go ahead and decides he wants to approve this invoice. Set that and you'll notice that this document will disappear out of his task. So this is a really neat feature because it tells people, and people respond really well to it because it tells them when they have work to do and they know if somebody's waiting on them for something. So we know on the background that, in the background, Ford just approved that invoice. Now it's checking to see if it's over $5,000. Uh, it obviously was. So it's gonna go to that second level of approval, which kicked off the task of CFO approval. So she's gonna look at it and she can quickly visually see that Jenkins coded it to 21,000, Ford approved it, and now she's gonna go ahead and put her stamp of approval on it for that second level of approval. And after all the approvals have been received, the document's automatically gonna be routed back to Peggy. So if I go back into my tasks, they're both assigned to her, but one now has a, a step of pay invoice. So when I double click on the pay invoice, here's my options. I'm gonna go ahead and book this transaction. And then here is where the web service would be called that would generate the CSV export of those values so that you could import those into your uh, accounting package. So there you have it, process planner, workflow designer, and the end product of automating an AP process within your organization. So I'm gonna take you back to, we have one uh, case study, and I don't know if this is the case study that's in your handout section, but a really good quote here that we hear quite often, because a lot of times you, a lot of times we don't know what we don't know. So when you get a solution like this implemented, whether it's AP, whether it's HR, whether it's any other paper process within your organization, this comment wraps it all up perfectly. So now that DocuWare is in place and our workflows are running, I can't imagine managing our business without this solution. It truly does create more efficiencies for an organization. So I really appreciate everybody's time and um, I, I hope you enjoyed the presentation.